and welcome to another Rival Stars video. So my last couple videos have either been um, buying horses or doing a bit of the main story. Now I found something else. So I actually on this save went ahead and finished the story like completely. I've done everything. And what I didn't realize that did was unlocked the ability to breed with custom creation horses. And you know who is a custom creation horse. Yes, that's right, Sporkle. And I realized I didn't really showcase any of the breeding. So I was like, you know what? I'll do that now. So I have gone ahead and set up three mares um, to give us some foals. So you might be thinking, okay, um, Abby, it's a bit like... Um, Alicia Online, you know, with the stats and stuff, you gotta breed for both stats and coat. Well, all of these horses are grade 10, and obviously Sporker's custom creation with full stats, so her stats were fine. And both of these little babies, we've got Vital Beauty and Prancing Dream, both of them are Sporkle's daughters. So they both have really, really good stats. Um, so we're literally just breeding for coat at this point, like I have my champion horses. Um, all of them are trained fully, so they're both um, level 50. Uh, so I'm very excited to see the foals. I think I want to leave Sporkle's foal to the last one. Um, uh, but if you wanted to quickly see who I used to breed with them, um, I did use, who was it? Um, Phantom Rush. So Phantom Rush is another custom creation, as you can see here, um, and his skills are all maxed and everything. So um, yeah, both all, all of the fathers are from uh, Phantom Rush. So we'll start with Prancing Dream. Let's go meet the new foal from Prancing Dream. Okay, I don't know what I'm hoping for in terms of horses, but let's see, okay. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> that is, um, I think that one's a bit funky looking, not gonna lie. Um, okay, so our first horse, I'm not a fan of. So I'm going to skip to Mare and we're gonna sell her straight away. Um, sorry, little Joy, but she she looks better as an adult, but she's, she's not the horse I was looking for. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell her. Oop, not the right horse. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sell Joy. So we've got two more foals to go and see. Hopefully Vital Beauty's foals look at, or foal looks a little bit better than the other one. I'm so vain. I'm like, this horse is ugly, I don't want it. But you know what, I, I've got the stats. They're going to great homes, trust me. Okay, let's see. Meet the new foal. <gasps> oh my god, he's so pretty! He's so funky looking, but he's so- oh, it's a colt! I can't keep colts. Oh, man. Because I need mares. I have- I already have a stallion. Oh, man. Um, I'm- Let me see him as a, a full-grown BB Bean. Okay, let's see. Star system. Sure, we'll go with that. Oh, he's really pretty. Oh, he's so pretty. But he's a stallion. I don't really use the stallions, which is such a shame. I will keep him for now, uh, but I don't think I'll be doing much with him because um, another one of Sporkle's babies was Princess Dagger, but because he's a stallion um, and the stats aren't as good as Phantom Rushes, I don't bother breeding with him. So... Oh man, okay, so we'll set the other two up for another breeding that we can have a look at. Uh, breeding takes an hour. Oh yeah, and I haven't really addressed this yet. Uh, up in the above me, um, you can see I've got a hundred million. Uh, that was me. <laughs> I grinded this game so hard. Uh, I didn't get given any cash. I've been playing this game a lot. So, um, all right, let's see. Let's see what Sporkle has to offer. Come on, Sporkle. You, I, I believe in you. Pretty baby, pretty baby, pretty baby. Gosh darn it. Ah, oh, it's not what I was looking for at all. To be honest, I don't have an idea of like what I'm looking for. I know I've got a soft spot for like brown or bay horses. Um, I'm also looking for maybe a paint. Um, I Bless her heart. And it's a colt as well. I can't, I can't keep the colts. Gosh darn. <sighs> egg confetti, that's a terrible name. Oh, oh no, and he looks like an egg confetti as well. Oh, this isn't good. Okay, so I am aware that, um, well, I'm not entirely sure of like how the breeding mechanics work in terms of lineage um, and 
like coat wise uh, more than anything but I am aware that like for example Sporkle uh, if you look at her pedigree where is her pedigree okay she doesn't have a pedigree because she's a custom creation mare so that means she doesn't have any like parents same with phantom rush so if we look at someone like vital beauty who we were just breeding um we can see that her mum and her dad don't have lineage so i think it randomizes it quite a bit um i might be wrong though again i don't know the pure mechanics of the game um but i'm gonna put all of them back up for uh breeding again um, if you guys have any tips for breeding that I am not aware of, go go ahead. Um, to be honest, oh, I don't have a stud set. To be completely fair, uh, most of this game I have spent as just racing and occasionally buying horses. I'm not, I wasn't really a huge fan of breeding that much except for when it was a goal. Uh, so, you know, I'm not entirely uh, accustomed to it. So let's set these two gals up. I'm clicking the wrong things all over the place. Okay, so Prancing Dream and Phantom Rush will be going again. Um, we'll set them all up with Phantom Rush. And then I'll come back in an hour and we'll see if we have any pretty beans to go. Right, so it has been about an hour and all of the foals are ready now. So honestly, I think if in this batch there aren't any horses I like, I'll do one more. But I'm hoping that was not the case. I'm hoping there's at least one foal in here that I can train and love and it's my dream horse. So once again, we'll start with Prancing Dream uh, and meet her foal. Okay, let's go. Oh man, <laughs> I mean it's cute and it's a filly, but uh, it's the coat for me, it's the, um, she looks snow freckled which is cute, but it, I don't think it was what I was looking for. Um, I'm going to skip her to Mare because I don't think she's what we're looking for. Uh, let's see what she looks like. Yeah, no, I'm not a fan of that pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and sell her. That's like the third horse today. I know you guys are probably like, if you play the game, you're probably like, oh my God, Abby, like at least race these horses and get some money back because you paid like a lot of money. Um, if you haven't, if you couldn't tell by my balance, I have a lot of money and I have like Sporkle and Phantom who can run like the top races at um, like the master level and win the races as well. And I'll get like a mil or maybe two million depending on the race um, every time. So I'm not particularly worried about um, losing money because I have a viable way to make it back. That was very loud. Right, so we have two more to go. Please, Vital, please. I'm looking for like like a brown horse or maybe a paint horse a black horse would be amazing but we'll see and hopefully it's a mare as well okay meet the foal ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. again what is it with that like snowing pattern i don't wow and it's a stallion as well gosh damn it okay so our last hope is sporkle okay sporkle please please make this possible okay <sighs> Sporkle, you're my last hope. Please don't make me have to wait another hour to do another set of breeding. Please, please. Okay, right. Please be a mare and please be a, a coat that is cute. Okay. Again with that like snow dappling. What is up with that? Why does that keep happening? He's, he's got a cute face though, but it's a cold. I can't, I can't cold. Oh man, am I gonna? I'm gonna have to wait another hour. Who, who in the lineage is giving them all speckly coats? I don't understand. Oh. Oh, please don't look at the fact that they both have the same dad. That's kind of weird. Maybe I need to. Maybe I need to throw in another like stallion for Sporkle's kids. Oh, <gasps> okay. Let's try that then. Okay. So I'm gonna go back to the creation hub again 
and I think I'm going to make um, another horsey that we can maybe bring home as a stallion that's outside of the family because that might be what's messing up the breeding is if you, I don't know how accurate this is, but I don't want to like interbreed too much because I feel like that's not a good idea. So we'll make, I'll make a horse and we'll see if we want it in our stable. All right, let's go with enchanting. So also one thing I wanted to kind of throw in there, all of my horses have position front because that's where I like running. Um, at the moment, most of them are long distance. So Sporkle's long distance, Phoenix is long distance. Um, his name's not Phoenix, is it? I, Phantom, Phantom's long distance. And they all have pretty hard track surface preferences. So I'm going for something a little bit different. Actually, I might make him a sprinter. Yeah, so we'll go for a shorter distance, still the front, but track surface of soft. So hopefully the kids will have a little bit of variation, but still keeping to the aspects I like about the horses. Okay, here he is. Okay, boy, oh boy, that's a lot of money. Right, so we're gonna go ahead and buy Enchanting Essence to throw in some genetic differences into the pot a little bit okay let's see bonk oh he's so pretty look at him he's such a pretty boy okay this is perfect right so now um i'm going to steal steal i'm going to still breed sporkle with phantom his name's not phantom it is phantom never mind with phantom but the other mares, so that's Prancing Dream and Vital Beauty because their dad is Phantom. I'm going to do it with um, with the new horse. Okay, I remember the horse's name very clearly. It's just, you know. So, Sporkle and Phantom are still doing their breeding thing. Okay, so they're set up. However, I need to go and change the stud now. Bonk. Oh, shoot! I clicked the wrong one! Oh, no, I didn't... Oh, I didn't switch it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, and it's still a million to skip. Oh gosh, I've done, I've done goofed, guys. I forgot to switch it for Vital Beauty. Okay, it's fine. Now I just gotta wait another hour. Oh boy. One hour later. And we are back for our final round of foals. I think I might do like one more round after this, but I won't do it with face cam. So if I get any good horses out of it, I'll show you guys. Spoiler alert, I didn't, so you won't see it. Um, but we have one illegitimate child uh, on the way that I accidentally um, clicked the wrong stallion for. So poor Vital Beauty has an illegitimate foal because first of all, it's not from my breeding line. Second of all, it's completely the wrong grade. So um, that's not gonna work well. So we're gonna start with, how about we start with the illegitimate child? Why the heck not? Okay, Vital Beauty, let's see what little foal you have for us. Oh, he, oh, they're kind of cute. Oh, it's a shame they're like grade three. Oh, that's a, that's a, such a shame. It's so cute though. Okay, okay, I can't keep this horse because it's level or grade three. So that means that it won't be able to participate in any of the high class races. It won't be like fast enough. So they're going to a great home. Don't worry. Some some little girl's gonna get her own thoroughbred horse that came from my breeding line. Okay, so we'll start with um Prancing Dream next. So this horse hopefully is also grade ten. Uh, let's see what we've got for the foal. Ooh, what's it gonna be? Oh, it's so cute! Oh, wait, is that got little, like, fleckles of white, or is my eyes deceiving me? A new filly as well! I wanna see a grown up, but I want. I want her to also be taken care of as well. Okay, I'll, I'll take care of her then. Um, Arrow Autumn is a nice name. I think I'll go with Arrow Autumn. Um, because I'm being super lazy. I might pay the five million. Does that mean that they'll do it for me? And I just have to wait? Oh, that's a lot of money though. Heck, it doesn't matter. Okay, even my retirement, I'll give your foals the same professional care I gave the world's top stables. Visit if you want, but never worry. Okay, oh, so it already, it does it like automatically, I assume. Okay, so now we can skip straight to mare then. Awesome. Okay, skip to mare. Oh, she's got a sock. Her sock is so pretty. <gasps> she's adorable. She looks like, um, she looks like the other mare that I name. I've forgotten. She looks a little bit like Vital Beauty. Oh no, her coat's different. She's like more of a, like a Palomino kind of yellowy coat. She's pretty though. I love her. Okay. She's not the prodigy horse I was looking for, but that's okay. I'm happy with her. 
I spent a lot of money on her, so, you know, gotta earn it all back, but here we go. Final foal of today will be from Sporkle. Let's see who she's going to give birth to. Oh my god, he's so cute, he or she. Oh, it's a he. We already have one that looks like, oh no. He's so cute though. Let's see, let's see him as a stallion. Look at him go. Oh, he's really pretty. Oh, he's got two colors in his mane. Oh, he's very pretty. He looks very much like his mum. Oh, he's adorable. Yeah, so we didn't particularly get a lot of horses out of that breeding session. Uh, so just a little bit of feedback from me. Um, the breeding is quite unreliable, it would seem, in terms of coats, because if you look at, like, um, Ara Autumn's pedigree, you know, okay, her mum was brown, but, like, there's no other, like, that coat isn't the same, also the markings on the face are completely randomised, I assume. Uh, the socks might be from her dad, I don't know, but... I'm like, I wouldn't say like breeding a black horse with a black horse would make a black foal. I think it is a little bit more like Alyssa Online breeding in terms of it being a little bit randomized and it more being like stat based. Um, and her stats are decent. They're not perfect, but they are decent. So yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with them. And they've got nice different like stats so that when they're all trained and everything, I can send them to the races and they can participate in whichever race I need them to do. Um, so you guys really, really took to the last episodes. So I would really like to do some more of this game. There's some things I can do in terms of we can do some watching races. You can um, do some more like watching of races i <laughs> there's more to do trust me uh in terms of like we can breed some more what would you guys like to see in this series because i am aware that a lot of people do play on mobile but mobile is different to desktop in terms of how the game functions i haven't played mobile actually uh, i've only played desktop and i really do enjoy the desktop version however it is very expensive you can get it on steam for about 40 pounds i believe uh so it is very expensive um so if you want i will be your uh way to experience this game um, vicariously through my videos so let me know what you guys want to see more of what you guys uh, would like to experience along with me so I hope you guys enjoyed stay positive and I'll see you in the next video bye bye